Hey guys, this is Walderport, and right here I have an awesome little snake. And I know you guys are saying, that thing looks just like a worm. And you know what? You're exactly right. This does look just like a worm, and that is where it got its name from. This, guys, is a worm snake, all right? Now, why did it get its name? Well, one is because of its tiny size. Two is because of its coloration. You see it has that pink accent on the belly. And on the back, we have some brown there. So this has a very similar coloration to an earthworm. And the third thing is its behavior. So these actually do spend most of their lives underground. It is very rare to see these out of the ground. Uh, oftentimes, if you do find them roaming, it's only going to be at night and on some of those damp nights out here in the woodlands. So that is where these will live. Uh, you can find worm snakes in a variety of places. Since they are so small, they can live all kinds of different places. You can find them in the deepest woods, you know, right in your backyard, or you know, even in city parks or things like that. You can find these guys there. Now, they prefer uh, a kind of a habitat that has lots of leaf litter, like we have here in the forest, because they will burrow through that in underground looking for their prey. Now, what does a snake that is this tiny eat? Its head is not even nearly as big as my fingernail is. So what on earth does it eat? The answer is earthworms. Now we have a, okay. a special guest. We have a special guest entering the scene. This is Nora <laughs> the house cat. Uh, now Nora the house cat uh, will be joining us this video. Uh, she will be investigating the mysteries of the worm snake with us tonight, apparently. Uh, so Nora here would probably prey on this worm snake if she found it in the wild. Uh, right now she doesn't seem very interested in it whatsoever. But uh, we do have a special guest, Nora the Cat, so welcome her to the show. Anyways, this worm snake does actually eat worms. So it's kind of, it's a little bit funny. Nora, what are you doing, buddy? Come here. Okay, lovins? All right. So Nora is the, all right, all right. Back to the episode. So worm snakes prey on worms. That is one of their favorite snacks, and that is because not only does it pack a bunch of protein, and this thing has such a small body size, it doesn't really need that much. A worm will actually fit perfectly into its body. You have to think that a snake swallows all of its food whole, all right? So when it eats something that's really fat or really hard, it's just swallowing it down. And, you know, it could make it harder to digest. It could require more energy to digest. Uh, but a worm will fit perfectly in its body. And it's also very slimy, so it goes down easily. So you can occasionally find these eating worms. I know I've been looking for night crawlers at night before, and I've actually found one of these guys chasing the night crawlers I was chasing, so that was pretty cool. But if you do ever see these snakes, uh, they are quite common. I'm sure you will at some point in time. You can identify them by their small size, their brown coloration, and it's also gonna be very, very smooth and it'll look glossy. So those are some features you can use to identify the snake. It is completely harmless, completely non-venomous. You have no reason to be concerned about the snake. Now, one last thing to talk about that's actually really cool with the snake is the tail. Now, they actually have a sharp tail, and they will skewer bugs with this tail. So what this thing will actually do, it'll use this little mouth, it'll grab the insect, and then it'll boop, poke it with this tail. And that is one of the methods they use to kill their prey. There's <laughs> this little head in the tail. You can see its head is not very big at all, so it can't small very large prey. So if you are exploring in your own house, you know, around your backyard or at a local park, these are a great snake to find. Uh, I'm sure you will find one if you explore long enough. And like I said, they are a great beginner snake. Uh, they will not bite you. They are great to hold, and they are very important to the ecosystem. All right, so these are prey for basically anything that can get a hold of it because they are so small. So guys, make sure to subscribe for new wildlife content featuring snakes, bugs, mammals, fish, amphibians, reptiles, anything you can think of I've got videos on. So definitely check out my channel. And I definitely encourage you to go try and find these snakes on your own if you can. They are a ton of fun to hold and they are a very important part of the ecosystem. All right, let's get them back. There you go, buddy. Look how quickly he burrows. Wow. He's got a hard head. Yeah. Yeah, so they use that flat head to dig. That's amazing. Yeah. Like, it's already gone. Wow. That was an awesome animal. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.